What would it take to convince you? Welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm episode 2 and we're gonna continue off with this. I just can't believe Drew just blamed Chloe for everything even though it wasn't her fault. <laughs> anyway, I think this is time for the Tempest show, right? So we're gonna see Rachel in action and uh, I wonder what Frank is gonna say and also with Damien. Is he gonna like punch us in the face or something like that? Because I feel like we, can, we can't trust that guy, right? He's too much of a villain looking kind of dude, so... Fire's still going. Interesting. Do you think Wells is gonna like kick us out for being here? He probably would, right? <gasps> There's Dana, look at her, she looks so cool. This day has been so messed up. Chloe, it's Steph. I'm on my way to the hospital. Mikey's arm is broken. Drew told me a little bit of what happened. Shit, I didn't know it was that bad. The situation is so fucked up. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, I will. At least she's not pissed. I thought she was gonna be, like, mad at us. Max, fuck. Remember that easy job that Frank told you about? Yeah, not quite. First of- First I jacked Samuel's keys and used the, my Jedi powers to get past Skip into my dorm. Into the dorms, by which I mean talking about my lady bits till he freaked out and let me in. <laughs> Took a brief detour to Elliot's room and then read his poetry. Dude got feelings for me. I think I'm flattered, I guess? Anyway, I found the cash, but then Drew and Mikey showed up, followed by Frank's psychopathic boss, Damien. Have you ever met someone that you just never know- you just knew never to fuck with? I haven't until it today. Damien started beating the shit out of Drew for the money he owed. Drew wanted me to stay with Mikey, but I couldn't take the sound of Damien get hurting him. I opened the door and gave him the money to the asshole, just so that he'd leave Drew alone. Unfortunately, Mike tried to be a hero and got hurt. It was all- it was also so fucked up. And the most fucked part, that I had anything to do with it. Chloe the Peacemaker. Uh. Alright, let's see if we can talk to everybody. Hey, props. Did Hi, Dana. Dig hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Know. Or did <laughs> Did Doug dig David's She's garden? too into it right now. After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. Oh, that's right! She's the stage manager! Oh, Steph is a good friend. We got a text from Rachel, I think. How's your super long errand going? Yo, crazy shit happened in Drew's room, like, really bad. Oh no, are you okay? Do you need to talk about it? Yeah, later. Don't worry until the show's over. I'm backstage. Great, on my way. Okay, we'll talk to Rachel soon. Hey, Sam. What the hell's going on over there? Is that Nathan? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Sure, Ferdinand. Go fuck yourself! Uh, alright, um... Hey, I'm not gonna say that because he didn't do anything wrong. Sup, Chloe? I mean, sup, fair maiden. Oh my god. Great uh, method acting. <laughs> nice. <Really>? Thanks. <laughs> Alright, good talk, dude. I don't want to play with the lights. I don't want to mess it up. I feel bad. Should I talk to Mr. Keaton? He's kind of like, you know. Hey, Sam, what are you doing? Hey, Samantha. Shh. What? You're spying on Nathan because you love Nathan. him so much? Please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm oh. sorry. Keep your voice down. Oh my Listen God. to me. That's Sean Prescott. What? Nathan's dad looks like he's really laying into him. What? They push. Oh my God. Okay, we have to listen. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just going to laugh at me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. 
just like you're doing right now. Dad. What a dick! When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. It's no wonder Nathan has so many problems. His fucking yes. father is so abusive Good. to him. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. How can this guy just like act like nothing happened? I'm gonna say something in. Great pep talk, Mr. P. Everyone knows the best way to instill confidence in someone is by intimidating them. I don't know who you are, but mind your own business. <laughs> I'd love to. Don't you have like a private bunker filled with gold coins where you could have these conversations? Yeah, I keep walking, Sean Prescott. Oh my god. Nathan. Uh, I feel bad for Nathan. Dude, I, it, it wasn't to like embarrass like Nathan or anything, but seriously, his dad's an asshole. I didn't mean it like that, dude. Hey, Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. He should be think. You should be careful. Nathan's dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe, I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> for what? You didn't kill my dad. Or did you? <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. I know. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the two of you are really similar. That's uh, that's an interesting statement because it's true. Mean? Nathan and Chloe's characters are actually really similar. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. Yep. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. Oh. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? Give, give him up, uh, give him help, give him space. Honestly, Nathan does need help, but he also needs space too because he has an anger problem. So just like Chloe, I'd say give him space. When I'm super angry, I need to let it all out. The last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. Case in point, how pissed he was when we tried to help him yesterday. If I were you, I'd give him space and wait for him to come to you. <sighs> that actually How that works. Because I actually want to help Chloe. Nathan in some way. And obviously Samantha really likes him, so... Alright. Okay, let's talk to Mr. Keaton. Sup, Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady. Do you still believe true love is a lie? No. I mean, like, I, I said it was, a, it was a lie in the context of the story, but not, no. <laughs> I don't know. I guess the whole point of love is to leave yourself open to... <laughs> whatever happens. <laughs> Indeed. That is an art many of us attempt and precious few master. Budding dramaturge. May your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Uh -huh. Word. Stephanie uh -huh. was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is weird. Yeah, it's, I still stand by the, the teacher's still freaking weird, but okay. <laughs> I think this is Rachel's tent, right? Can I go see Nathan? Will he, like, yell at me if I talk to him? I kind of want to see him. Hang on. Nathan? Boys changing tent. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, I can't go in there. Alright, I can't go see Nathan. Never mind. Well, I tried. Anyway, let's talk to Rachel. Rachel? Rachel, are you here? Oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Chloe just ran away. <laughs> I would do the same thing, honestly. What is she doing anyway? Don't tell me she's sabotaging Rachel's stuff. Hmm. 
What? She's making tea. And... What? Did she, like, put something in them? Whatever that was, it was shady as shit. No, God. Oh, my God. Don't tell me she's trying to, like... She's trying to sabotage her, right? I think that's what that she's trying trip. to do. Ooh, we got something for Frank. I just talked to Damon. Good work. You can meet me tomorrow to pick up your cut. Your friend's an asshole. What matters is he's happy. Whatever. Price? You did the right thing. In terms of Damon won't kill us, yeah, but still he's still a dick, Frank. I think you need to realize that. Look. Heading putting on makeup to the long See list me of or reasons Mr. K I wouldn't for be makeup caught kits. dead on stage. Only the finest child slave labor for Victoria Chase. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Um Let's see what was in her bag, Miss Victoria Chase. I know you're a bitch, but damn, what are you doing, girl? Victoria Chase is actually a pretty talented photographer. What is that? Leave this one happy so there. Oh god. Cuz her family's all all uh, photographers, Muscle right? Relaxers. Oh my god, you're going to give that to her? No. Can we do something about the tea? Hurry now before your tea gets. <sighs> your tea gets what, what Victoria? What are you doing here? This area is for cast and crew only. Uh, I'm here for Rachel. I'm here to support Rachel. How nice. I want to make sure she's relaxed before the show. Mm hmm. Whatever. Is she gonna give them the? Don't give the tea, oh, please Rachel, don't. Amber, it was customary among the thespians of ancient Greece for the understudy to offer hot tea to the lead actress on opening night, <laughs> as a way of showing appreciation for her tutelage. It is in that spirit that I offer you this beverage. May it help to reveal the essence of your talents. For don't all drink it. Things. Can we stop wow. this, please? That, um. Even Rachel's like, what the hell is she talking about? <laughs> no, we're gonna tell Rachel, fuck you. Wait up, Rachel. Bitch, dosed your tea. Excuse me? How dare you? Victoria, could this- Sorry, Victoria, be you're being a bitch right now. I'm not gonna defend you for this. Of course not. A dropout Chloe is clearly directing her misplaced anger at me. I'm sorry your life is a mess, but it's not my fault, okay? Oh my god. Hmm. Chloe, Victoria is my friend. She would never do anything to sabotage me. What? Then explain the pills, then you should- Then she should drink the tea, how about that? Then she should prove it. Drink the tea. What? Do I it! I dare insult Victoria's integrity like that. Then again, if that's what it'll take to convince you that Victoria is a good and caring person, Fine. Take that. Drink it. Come on, Vic. Put drop out Chloe in her place once and for all. She's not gonna do it, right? Oh, she is! Oh, happy? So happy. Ugh, whatever. If you're done accusing me of things, I'll just be on my way. <sighs> Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Saved my ass again. Price. All in a day's of work. And this has been a particularly batshit crazy day. Oh hey, uh, that's mine. The gloomiest shirt of the bunch. How did I know you were gonna pick that one? Oh yeah, she recognized your clothes, that's right. All. Sweet Parmesan, we're ruined. The show is ruined. Why? That was quick. 
Mr. Keenan's pretty dramatic, and then again, My he's a drama teacher, artist. so. A misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Oh, so no one can Would get to the she show. Could manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is Can he just say like the show's indeed. canceled like a normal person? I'm afraid we may have to cancel. <laughs> Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Oh God! <laughs> Touche. <laughs> oh no, Victoria. Is she actually okay, though? Jesus Christ. What? Uh, uh, oh no. Mr. Keaton, no. What? Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. <laughs> At least until the roads clear. Are you serious? The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell kind of? No. <laughs> she's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And oh my god, Chloe's gonna my act. Dear, this is not gonna end well. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? <sighs> I'd say you're super fucked. <laughs> Chloe, please, for me. Damn it! Why did she have to say that? <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> For you, okay? Like how she's playing the raven again. Can we talk I about that too? I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. Oh my god, this is so funny. I Can we look at this? have to memorize all of this? Thanks. Ooh, lots of, lots of lines. Alright, we gotta remember all that. Oh my god, that's so funny. But she looks really good in this outfit, honestly. <laughs> she looks adorable. Oh my god. Chloe, the show's about to start. We got great seats. Where are you? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> oh, she, he will definitely see. Oh god. Alright. I have a question then. Does Mi Mr. Keaton not know that Chloe's accident, expelled? most strange. Bountiful fortune. Hath mine enemies brought to the shore? Here, this is see so some more funny. questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm off. <laughs> oh, uh, that's you. I am ready now. Get up there. Yeah, okay, Approach. dude. My Ariel, come. Damn it. <laughs> no problem. This I've is so got funny. This. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this. <laughs> hey, I sat here yesterday. Oh my god, this is so funny to me. Holy crap. Let's just look at everything before we actually I'm go to Rachel. <laughs> Definitely supposed to do something with this. Sick lightning. I bet Steph designed that. <laughs> we're supposed to be performing, but we're just looking at every single thing on the stage. I find this so hilarious. Oh my god. Ugh, that killed my eyes. <laughs> oh my god. Chloe, I love you so much. Okay, let's do this. We can do this. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Dana. I want to play her part. Rachel looks way too pleased with herself for getting me into this. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit. Hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? Yeah, the- Oh god, I didn't even know the- uh, I wrought a storm- I don't know. <clears throat> I, uh, wrought a storm across the seven seas, raining <laughs> and, uh, raining. Shit. The king's own ship, I saw such rain assail, and by this detail knew it for thy work. Well done. Who was so firm 
so constant that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Hell is, oh God. Hell is full, hell is here, hell is empty? Cried, <clears throat> hell is empty and all the devils are here. Yes. Yay, I got it right. <laughs> but are they, Ariel, safe? All right, I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. To the shipwreck? I don't know. <laughs> Not a hair perished. And uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle. Uh... <laughs> In? Loops? By all the gods in heaven, when is Juliet getting here? Ariel, <laughs> thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. I should have looked at the script. More lines? More, more toil? Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? Liberty, equality, enough already! <laughs> Please make it end! Um... My liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? Oh, is Rachel- what? But thou hast promised? Uh... But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, Rachel, and what are you doing? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Key, they're way off script. <laughs> Nathan's like, what the hell are they then doing why, up there? I pray you, wish you to be free. Excitement will grow. Excitement isn't happiness. Excitement will grow. Excitement oh? ages quickly. And I fear if we set out in search of new uh, <laughs> fun, you'll tire of me. And, uh, then I'll be alone. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. Then I'll run away. So come with me. How about that? So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Whoa, what my is happening now? friend. For but a little longer, I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that in the name she, she's of She's like confessing her fucking love to Chloe. So Holy crap! To my most hopeful wish. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Your duty done for now. So go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. I love it. That was good. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending. Mr. Keenan, he's, he's, he's please. Because I it's about romance and shit. <laughs> humbled. <laughs> no problem. What All right, Julia, it's your turn. Was that real? In me. Shake it off. Come on. It's funny what with Rachel because she always like flirts friend. with Chloe, and the, the, the thing is, like, you don't know Chloe Sir, uh, if Rachel's sincere about it. He does make which is why I hesitated to like put them in a relationship since the beginning what? because I wasn't sure if she's really Slave. honest about it. Caliban, come forth, I say. Go, Nathan. You can do it. 
uh, mm. as wicked do as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. Nathan, He's no! Crying. Fetch Can we help? Fuel and be quick. So, slave. Hence. Can we help him? I feel really bad. Because his dad might, like, beat him or something. Fuck you. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Where should this music be? In the air or the earth? Oh, thank God. <laughs> this play is. Can we super talk to Nathan? Intense. Like, I seriously want to talk to him. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor. Those acting skills, though. <laughs> Do you love me? Oh, heaven, oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit of what else in the world, do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore. And they shall be I wonder what sense. Elliot is thinking right now, because remember we just said he'll see what happens. Now my charms are all overthrown. And what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands. With the help of your good hands. Good job, everybody. Rachel's a really good actress. Yay! Look at them. I'm just, I feel bad for Nathan, though, because he's so nervous. Oh. <laughs> Woo! What about Chloe, huh? Mr. Keaton can finally fucking relax, though. Oh god. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. No! Don't talk about being dead! <laughs> Yay! Everybody did a good job! Woo! <laughs> Especially Chloe, that was funny. I should have looked at the script. I didn't realize that we actually had to pick the lines for what we were gonna say. Oh. Oh, okay, the woman was watching us? That's a little bit weird. Why is she there? The hell? <laughs> oh my god, Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. Oh. <laughs> He was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me. It was, it was Rachel's idea, though. Where are they right now? Are they, like, going to, like, Rachel's house or something? Because this doesn't look like Chloe's neighborhood, you know what I mean? <laughs> Dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> They're cute. I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? <gasps> She's wearing the plaid shirt! You, like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. 
No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? Chloe did a good job. Yeah, I feel really awesome. If you told me this morning I'd be this happy tonight. You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Oh my god. Okay, the whole show. So they're so, so gay. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Ooh, okay. Hold her hand, say something sweet. I'm gonna hold her hand, I don't care. Aww, look at them! <laughs> Yay! I think it's okay now, now that I got know to know Rachel a little bit better, I think I'm okay with them being in a relationship romantically. Because the first episode I wasn't sure about Rachel yet, but I totally can see why everyone loves her so much. Let's leave. For real. What? For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night. Let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah. But Does it though? Like, Eventually. Like, I feel like Rachel relies now. that part on Chloe. That's why I'm so unsure Do about her. Because she she we likes the... <laughs> why not? Trouble part... Oh, God. Um... How, how about money, huh? We don't what have money mom? yet. I thought you were a high-rolling criminal now. I'm done with that. I gave the money away. Uh, I'm done with that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like being a criminal as much as I thought. You're more of a hero than I think you realize. I think you're high right now. I'm... <laughs> a no hero. She is, though. We'll see. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money for my dad. Or should I say... Hush money. Oh. Any more questions? Um, how about in the middle of nowhere? How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe. It's not like I do this all the time. You'll figure it out. But Rachel, you're don't so- don't even oh. know what shape it's in. Honey, she's so like into to, this right now. Because I know you. And I know what you're capable of. In other words, we've got transportation covered. Okay, <sighs> what about your parents, dude? I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. Oh god, Rachel! Your your mom needs you. My mom needs me. How about your mom, huh? What about Wouldn't your mom? Hurt your mom? She doesn't deserve that, right? I don't deserve to live in the middle of my parents' mistakes. Of course right. not. But I'm just saying. I just said. What of course the you fuck, don't. Rachel? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, fine. You win. Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> the open road, Los Angeles, New York. Hey, Los Angeles is where they always wanted to go, right? So... Why don't you show me L.A.? Perfect. 60 degrees every night. You and me on the Santa Monica Pier. Gorging on food truck food. Smoking up. Looking at the moon shining on the waves. And a beautiful blonde man will sit next to us and smile at you. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> what? I like your eyes. And I'll say, back off. She's with me. You're full of Whoa. shit. Whoa. <laughs> I love this time of night. Whoa, did she just say? <laughs> Don't you just. I think, like I think Rachel is pretty possible? gay for Chloe. But I think she's more <laughs> into the fact that Chloe is like willing to do anything. You know what I mean? 
I think she likes that side of Chloe Rachel, more than Chloe. Stop. If that makes any sense. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. But Rachel, <laughs> I get it, but oh my god, this girl's in denial. I feel bad. Chloe, what would it take to convince you? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god, we can kiss. Ra I'm gonna kiss Rachel. How about um kiss her kiss her please oh my god oh oh my god is that happening is she actually gonna do it Woo! <laughs> oh my god they actually did it in the game holy crap I'm so happy. Like, I, I know what I said earlier, but like, I think this is okay because we've gotten to know Rachel a little bit better. So, woo! Is that convincing enough? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Dude, this game, deck nine. I like this. I like what you're doing. Holy shit. Oh my God. I'm trying not to fangirl so much, but oh my God. Holy shit. <laughs> right? Oh my god. Also, that's the ash from the freaking fire, what right? What is this stuff? I think it's a sign. For what? I think we should leave tonight. Really? If you want to. I'm ready. Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. Okay. For you or for me? I gotta say, my clothes look damn good on you. Oh cool. my god, I'm so dead! <laughs> Holy crap! We'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. I just, I just feel sad. Like, I, I, I want to agree with Rachel, but this, the messed up thing is like, they're not gonna get out of here. That sounds perfect. Oh my god. That kiss though! Like it wasn't like, like, okay, Max and Chloe's kiss was just like, it was good because you can tell that they loved, loved each other, but you can definitely tell like Rachel's into to Chloe. Because that's what the thing I was unsure of. I thought she was just into her because she's a rebel. That's the reason. Dang, nice house, dude. She has a nice freaking house, but then again, her dad's a DA, so it makes sense why it's so elaborate and whatever. Uh. <laughs> Finger guns. Is this gonna work? Oh. oh. You're home. Damn it. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Hi. Our star returns. Do they hate us? You're just in time. I hope they don't hate Chloe. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey. You were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe. Does the dad not know that like Rachel uh, is really unhappy or something? She must. I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both oh, acted up quite Oh, they're inviting the her to the house. I'm so happy. Um, um, uh, it's okay though. Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of gal. She's <laughs> funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? 
Is that newspaper yes, floating between course. his arm and Chloe? <laughs> Would you join us for dinner? Please? Okay. Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure uh, thing. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm going to go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Yeah, I, th I think I'll be fine. <laughs> totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And I'm more wary of his, we, of her father because her father is just dinner. you know playing Try not to an say act. anything that you know that I would normally say. Exactly. <laughs> just some okay. quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, I'm sure this will end well. Everything's fine. Let's check our messages. It's from Steph. Okay. I heard you were in The Tempest. Yeah, I was kind of a big deal. I believe it. Everyone says the show was awesome. You get medals for two good deeds today. Mikey's okay. Drew will text you and update it a bit. Oh, shit. Tell me both of them are I'm pulling for him. All right. Hope he's okay. Max, just that, just when I thought the day couldn't get any even more dramatic, wait, let me back that up. Guess who tried to drug Rachel and Jack her role? Don't worry, Rachel and I turned the tables on Victoria and gave her a taste of her own medicine, literally. Suddenly, the drama doesn't end there for me. Stupid Juliet got caught up in the stupid fire. Now I... Let's just say there's exactly one person in the world who can make me dress up in a funny costume and act out a Shakespeare in front of the audience of all my least favorite people, and she happened to be right next to me exactly at the wrong moment. Chloe. Yeah, fuck my life. <laughs> okay, Max, so I survived just in case you were worried about me. You totally weren't. Oh, but it wasn't easy. I had to remember what to say and where to go and not flip out everyone off in the audience. Not gonna lie, I totally killed it. Once I got past the stupid makeup and the blinding lights and just let myself get lost in it, I guess acting is really about forgetting the rest of the world exists and being completely in the moment. When I'm with Rachel somehow, that becomes easy. We ended up creating new stories together on stage. A much better story because, because this one ends with the two of us escaping the island, sailing off to the sunset together. Take that, Shakespeare. Well, real life turns not awesome time will tell chloe the bardest bitch in town <laughs> max time is told and no it turns out like real life is not like the stage it was so much better we're leaving tonight boom peace out arcadia bay we're heading to los angeles home of the movie stars dank weed and who cares all that matters is that it's not here i didn't believe rachel at first it's not that it, i don't trust her but she tends to get swept up in the moment that's her weakness with rachel she just forgets about reality and kind of like lives this fantasy kind of thing without thinking realistically and which isn't always bad but in the case of that's why i was trying to say like rachel like we need a plan you can't just be like hey let's take our shit and leave it doesn't work like that Let's just say she erased all doubts. What, you need me to draw you a map? We made out. As awesome as you might imagine making out with Rachel Amber sounds, believe me, it was a bajillion times awesomer. After a quick stop by Rachel's house, we're heading off. Next time you hear from me, I'll be an ex-Arcadian, just like you. Chloe, that's so much better. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the video right here. I'm so sorry I have to end it here. And I didn't realize that this episode was a little bit longer than the first one, so that's good. But anyway, I'm enjoying it. I like- Sorry, I really freaked out with a kiss that really, like, shook me. I'm happy that Deck and I didn't shy away from that. I'm not saying, like, Donut didn't. It's just because they wanted an interpretation to leave up to the characters. Or actually the players, if you want to interpret it, Max as uh, more into men or female. Because she is a bisexual character, but- Chloe, in my opinion, my canon, she's bi, but I know there's different interpretations of what Chloe's uh, sexuality is to be. I know Ashley Birch, the original voice actor for Chloe, said she's um, gender and sexually fluid, so that, that, that you can take that into consideration as well. But for me, my canon is she's bi, but she's more into girls. So that was nice. I just fear that Rachel is getting too swept up in the fantasy rather than reality and i know it's because she's unhappy but like at the same time she can't just like rely on that all the time anyway if you guys enjoyed this video remember to leave a like comment and subscribe to join the companions and if you want to help support the channel on patreon the link is in the description you get early access to videos videos for patreon only the discord server to come talk to me and a bunch of other stuff as well or if you'd like to help with the channel out for free check out gawkbox the link is in the description you don't have to pay anything at all but you will support the channel for free and it would help me out a lot especially what's been going on here on this website anyway please let me know in the comments what you think about that 
Price, Amber Price kiss, you know? It, did I do a mistake? I, I feel like this is the appropriate time for their relationship to become something more. Because in the first episode, I feel like they were still getting to know each other, and I was still trying to get to know Rachel, because we haven't seen her character in the first game. That's why I didn't make a move on her on that one. But now it's I feel it's more appropriate this time. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Smiling as he tightens his grip. <coughs> God, I'm choking in real life. <coughs> What's wrong? You were so into this last night. I have no strength left to fight. He lowered her hands onto his stomach and let her hands glide over his well-toned abdomen. <laughs> what the fuck am I writing? Oh my